the first day of 2024. Happy New Year if you haven't seen yesterday's video. There's one thing that I want to share with you and that was from a video by Alan Watts. And instead of me just telling you, I'll show you the clip. Don't make a distinction between work and play. Regard everything that you're doing as play and don't imagine for one minute that you've got to be serious. See, this is the real secret of life to be completely engaged with what you're doing in the here and now. Instead of calling it work, realize that this is play. So everything is play, not work. He goes into detail about even when you're washing dishes, you're just twirling it around and you're spinning the dish as you're washing it, just getting into the ebb and flow of the movement. Or if you're a bus driver, just weaving that huge bus in to avoid all these obstacles, getting into kind of like treating it like a game, playing pretty much. So even in the most mundane things, it can be play instead of work. I think that's such a beautiful idea. So instead of my monetization goal, which I wrote, I you will be monetized, on my phone, I wrote down everything is play to remind myself that it doesn't have to be work. Everything can be play. It's all up to your mindset. I also saw a different video from Owen Cook who said that society is driven on the base paradigm, the base belief that you are not enough. But Owen was saying, don't buy into that paradigm. You are enough. He said, don't chase the status game of getting more and more and more because there's always a level above you and you'll never be satisfied. It's a message that I've heard from many different people and it makes a lot of sense. Owen was saying, just enjoy life, love life. And I think that comes in hand to hand with what Alan Watts was saying about, about how everything is play. When everything is play, you're enjoying life. And because you're enjoying life, you don't have this feel of lack that you're not enough. So by having the mindset that everything is play, I think that just sub subsequently satisfies the condition that you believe that you are enough. Because when you're having fun, you are enough. You have this abundance mindset when you're having fun. So I initially wrote on my phone, you are enough from Owen's video, but then I saw Alan Watts video and I replaced it with everything as play because I think that's the thing that's at the top. Treat everything as play. Everything is play and then everything else will follow suit underneath it or I guess above it because everything is play as the foundation if you get my metaphor. To you who's watching this, wherever you are in life, I hope that you set your intentions for what you want to do this year or what you want to work towards this year and I hope it becomes realized as you work towards it. To share my intentions, I want to read every day, I want to walk every day. Of course, I'm not going to be able to do it every day depending on how busy I am but I want to read every day, walk every day, practice flute a few times a week, maybe three times a week, and make a video every day as I have been for the last 60 plus days. And if I could also work out like five to six days a week, that's all my intentions for now. And that's a lot, so I have my hands full with that. I don't know how successful I'll be, and I'll probably keep falling back in certain, maybe some of some or all of those activities, but I'll keep coming back to my intentions and looking at my intentions. I have it written down on this notepad right here, uh, underneath here. Let's work towards making 2024 a great year. 1% better every day, baby. Happy New Year, Tigger. Look who's keeping me company while I'm reading. Lap Cat Tigger. <laughs> oh, you dropped it, Tigger. 